Hi, my name is Brian and today I'm going to do part two of how to build your own UV filter. Today I'm going to show you uh, how this filter is wired and how I've set the filter up. Um, you can see here I have mounted the completed assembly to the side of my uh, stand. So what will eventually happen is uh, the skimmer will come up, it will go in, go down through here and then come out and go into my sump. There are two UV light bulbs. Um, they're tied in so if I wanted to actually remove one I would first make sure it's unplugged and then I would push this and the bulbs sit down in here. Uh, if you have not watched part two this is the bulb holder in part one, I will show you how to make this bulb holder. So the bulb goes in here like this, it drops into here, and then I have a 2G11 series connector that uh, snaps on and holds my bulb in place. So bulb one, bulb two, wiring. I'm using 600 volt SJO cable. The starting current is 600 volts. Um, if you decide to build one of these, you need to be extraordinarily careful because you're working with salt water, which is highly conductive, and you're also working with high voltage electricity. In this particular case, the system can, can generate 600 volts. That's enough to hurt you. So it, again, if you decide to do this, you need to know what you're doing, and you need to understand the risks, because you could get hurt, you could get killed, or you could hurt or kill somebody else if you do this wrong. So. Um, SJO cable has a drip loop. Um, I'm using uh, standoffs, which you can't really see in the video, to hold hold these down. SJO cable goes up. There's another drip loop. Up here, there's another drip loop that goes into the ballast. This is my uh, inexpensive ballast to sourced on eBay. Goes into a uh, another piece of SJO, or, or in this case it's SOW type cable because it's 600 volt. Um, there's a grounding lug here on the ballast and I've scraped some of the paint off to make sure I get a good ground. Again, anytime you're working with electricity, you want to be safe. Um, that comes down and then it would plug in um, to here. Um, there are two indicators built out of a glass rod that have been siliconed in. Again, talk about this in part one. And uh, while you shouldn't look directly at the bulb for any length of time, you can see here that there is light and you can see the indicators here. So if water was flowing through here, it would be sterilized by the time it came back out. It's 36 watts and 36 watts, so there's 72 watts of exposure. My total project cost is about $75. $20 for the bulbs, $5 plus shipping for the connectors, another $10 for the ballast plus shipping, $10 worth of, uh, you know, really more like $15 worth of, of cable, and um, some miscellaneous plumbing for about another $15. This outlet is protected by a GFI, so in the event that there was a short, it would cut the power off to it. I uh, hope this has been helpful for you and inspires you to do things that help you make a better reef tank and save money.